Simone, as the chief designer of Project 667, can you explain the reason behind the short nose and the new front suspension layout? Well, we've been uh, designing a short nose for this new chassis, looking mainly after um, aerodynamic uh, improvement uh, of the flow uh, under the chassis, so basically for aerodynamic reasons. Uh, while the front suspension, that of course is related to to the nose and to the, and to the um, items that, that are uh, in this area have been chosen for uh, mainly three reasons. One, again, for aerodynamic reason. Secondly, for, uh, for weight, as it offers a, best, a better uh, compromise in terms of uh, uh, weight to stiffness ratio. And third, uh, as it offered uh, um, uh, better choices in terms of kinematics and, and handling of the front end. And this is what uh, everybody can see of this car, but obviously there are things underneath the bodywork that are not so uh, obvious, so visible. Uh, would you uh, tell us uh, which areas did you focus most in the designing process? We, we've been basically, under the um, external bodywork, the aerodynamic skin, we've been basically reviewing all the areas from the uh, last year's car, and we tried to make innovation in each single area and uh, saving really little if compared to, to last year's uh, chassis. Uh, to mention, I think, the, the cooling system, which has been improved quite a lot, as well as uh, the um, power unit integration, which, uh, thanks to a very nice work between uh, ourselves and the power unit colleagues, has been really better integrated and, and better joined to the chassis. And um, then to follow, I, I would mention also the rear suspension and the transmission. And looking at the cockpit area, you can see that the side protection appear to, appear to be substantially higher than in the past. Is that also an effect of a new regulation? Yes, you're right. The um, FIA has been uh, introducing this year for the first time uh, a reviewed uh, lot case for the chassis, basically looking after a stronger uh, side panel for the chassis um, with additional load cases with increased load and uh, this ended up uh, in having a thicker and uh, basically bigger uh, uh, protection for the, for the chassis, um, for the helmet. Now, people often get confused about uh, who does what in the racing team. How does your role differ from that of a technical director, for instance? Well, the chief designer is in charge of the whole project of, of the vehicle, of the car, so does look after the, uh, the chassis, the aerodynamic uh, part, the integration with the power unit, while the technical director, uh, my, my boss, uh, James Ellison, is uh, in charge of the whole technical uh, area of the gestion sportiva, so he's responsible of the chassis as well as the power unit and of the trackside uh, activities. And uh, in this role, this is the first Ferrari project you have full responsibility for in the designing process. How proud do you feel about this in Italian in Maranello? Well, I've been uh, uh, very happy to take uh, this position uh, about one year ago. And uh, to me, it's an honor. I'm really honored by that. And uh, I also feel the responsibility in doing a, a great job in making a, a better car together with a lot of colleagues. Uh, the guys working with me are uh, a really a lot of guys, very competent, very good. And uh, I would dream to mention uh, them all, but it would take probably 10 minutes. So on behalf of them, I would mention really a big thank you to Fabio Montecchi, Andrea De Zordo, Corrado Norato, Tiziano, Tiziano Battistini and finally Rory Byrne, which has been a, a big help for me during this year.